In Risa 3D version 18, we've added new drawing tools to help you put together your models a lot quicker and more efficiently. So in this case, we're looking at a water tank model where I'll go ahead and add an intermediate platform level to it. So to do that, I'm going to click Members, and it'll automatically bring up my drawing tools. So I'm going to display the grid, and what I'm going to do is move this to a new location. So all I need to do is do click to locate, place the node, and in this case, I actually want to use the XZ plane, so I can quickly change that here. And what I want to do is add an outrigger that goes four feet. So to do that, since this is set to 30 at one foot, all I need to do is count over one, two, three, four. And then all I need to do on the other side is just go ahead and move that drawing grid origin again and say click to locate, click that node, and again, just draw that member. So I can go over one, two, three, four. So once that's done, I can turn off the display grid and then I can just connect these two points with another member. So instead of having the member cantilever out, maybe what I want to do is go ahead and have this be supported by a brace. So what you can do now is go ahead and turn the display grid back on. Maybe what I'll do is have it be in the X, Y plane, and I'll go ahead and rotate it by 180 degrees. And so now I can count down the four feet that I need to get this 45 degree angle. So I can go here and I can add that brace in. And in the same way, I can bring this drawing grid origin over to this side by clicking the click to locate button, placing it there, and then just drawing down again. So go home, members, one, two, three, four. I can go ahead and click. And now, maybe I wanna break down the span of this supporting brace, so what I can do now is go ahead and set my snap settings to the quarter points, which will inherently take care of the half point. So here I can wait and then I can hover my cursor over and it says now half point and I can now click to the supporting node. Alternatively, I could have used the local axis tool, which locks us to the local axes of a particular member. So I just click a member. Now when I click on the half point, I'm locked to the local Y axis in this case. So now I can close that circuit. And I can also use the increments tool to go ahead and add some infill framing on this, maybe my metal grating that I'm gonna to use to support uh, whatever loading is on this can only span four feet. So what I can do with that is simply come over. And since my snap settings are set to four feet, I can wait for the program to let me snap to that point. I'll also turn off the quarter points and the perpendicular, that way we don't snap to a wrong point. And now I can just repeat this process across the length of the platform. And so now maybe I want to add a handrail system around there to give some protection to the occupants. So what I can do is go to members and I can use the lock to global access tool and it's going to use the increment of four feet. So this will add us a handrail that's four feet tall. So I can wait, I can go up with the program snap to the four feet increment. I can change my snap sitting to intersection and perpendicular to make sure I snap to that perpendicular member. I'll go ahead and pan around and just complete the circuit on that as well. So I can go ahead and continue using this tool to go ahead and add some intermediate vertical members to our handrail. So now we've completed our cantilever platform for this water tower, and maybe I want to use the global plane tool to go ahead and break down the span of some of these braces for my tower. So what this does is basically when I click on a plane, when I click on a member, now the program has created a plane for which I'm locked to uh, drawing any new members on. So in this case, it's set to the XY plane, and so what I can do is go ahead and change that to XZ in my case. And the next time I go to draw an element, it's going to use the XZ, but in this case I need to use actually the YZ. And so now I can make sure that in a case where I have a multitude of nodes behind me, I can actually make sure that I'm only snapping to the point that I want, which is uh, this member here. And so this gives you a great way of making sure that your new members are only drawn in the plane that you want them to be drawn in.
For more information regarding RISA 3D version 18, please visit risa.com.